Officially the day of my surgery. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I'm so excited. Everything's gonna be fine. So it's time to get up and get ready. Oh my God, I look, I look crazy. But it's time to get up and get ready. <laughs> my mom's gonna pick me up at seven because I have to be there by 7.45. They actually moved up my my surgery to an earlier time. So, uh, you know, it just makes things a lot crazier for me in my head. But um, I gotta gather up some stuff like my charger, my phone, my laptop because I want to edit. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave my laptop here. But I definitely need my phone charger, like, because I'm spending one night there, so. I brushed my teeth already. I floss and everything. Um, I'm just gonna put on some chapstick because every time I brush my teeth, my, I mean, my lips always get dry anyways for like everything. Okay. I'm basically ready. I'm not gonna put any any makeup, obviously. Um, I do have my little clip to clip up my hair after. I don't know. I'm so nervous. Oh, I just weighed in right now. I think I showed you guys before this right here. And I'm at 270. Like the day of. Like literally. The day of. <sighs> you have no idea. You have no idea how badly I wish I could have a cup of coffee. Oh, and I took off my acrylics last night. Well, yesterday. Over at my parents' house. I took them off because... <clears throat> You're not supposed to have any like, you know, artificial nails on or even nail polish going into surgery. I think it has something to do with like uh, them knowing if you're getting enough oxygen as well. I don't know. Something like that. Or maybe it's your pulse ox. Like if they put it on your finger so they could check your oxygen, obviously. I'm wearing my very comfortable dress, like slip on dress on. From, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before a lot of times. It's like the very flowy one. Uh, it's super comfortable. I love this dress. I so I remember when I had my gallbladder removed. Uh, I just needed something very very comfortable to like slip into, and yeah, it's it's definitely a dress this time. Although we're going in for a different procedure, but it's like ultimately kind of similar. What I am scared of though, post op, is the nausea. I hope I don't get nausea. They did say they were going to give me something for nausea, but, uh. for her to wake up. Guys, update. She just started waking up. She just started waking up. But I think uh, the nurse is coming soon. So, yeah, her throat might be feeling a little, a little dry because they put a breathing tube. But she's awake. Got her. It's on one day. It's a little troll. For when she wakes up, it's so cute. All right, it's my second day post op, and I'm still here at the hospital. Yesterday I was in extreme, extreme pain, but today's a lot better. Walking from the bed to the toilet, and I also did some walking out in the hall, but should be discharged today. There's a cup of water. On my table, they want me to finish before I leave. I already passed some gas, which they require you to, and that's it. And then, <clears throat> I got my, 
I got the love of my life right here who slept with me all night. My trooper. I love you. We're finally leaving, guys. I am officially home and in my cozy pajamas. I am feeling a little bit of discomfort in that one incision they made where they pulled my stomach out through. Other than that, like, I think I'm pretty good. I have my water here because I'm supposed to be on water today and tomorrow. And then Thursday, I can start my protein shakes. Include my protein shakes to my water. And also going to be taking Tylenol for pain and some chewable tablets for nausea. So, okay, I'll check in with you guys when I'm fully, like, feeling better and we could talk a little better. I weighed myself in this morning and today is post-op day two. So I'm still on just water. Uh, clear liquids, just water today. And um, I gotta take my Tylenol right now. I already took my nausea pill, even though I haven't felt any nausea. But like I'm, I'm kind of scared. And I do have a patch back here for nausea as well, um, which helps excuse my big old chungle. But I'm about to take my Tylenol. Um, let's see. I do experience a little bit of like pressure in this area with my drink water. Uh, I've been watching some videos, it sounds like it's pretty normal, probably because there's still air trapped in there, maybe, so kind of like like a, a slight spasm of like discomfort or pressure, I guess. The only incision that hurts is the one where they pulled on my stomach from. Uh, it is to be expected though, uh, but yeah, that's basically my little update on post-op day two. Um, did I tell you guys what I weighed in? I weighed in today at 268. That's awesome. I haven't weighed 268 in a really long time. Hello loves, today is day two post-op and I'm feeling so much better. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my incisions because I'm not sure if I showed you. And I'm supposed to be taking these uh, like like uh, dressings off but I'm gonna do it in the shower today just because I got a little bit of some like peach fuzz hairs on my stomach and that's gonna hurt so much as I pull these off. So. I'll do it in the shower. Uh, but yeah, these are the five. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one circled because that's actually where they pulled my stomach out of. Um, so this one hurts a little more. And I think that there's like an extra like stitch in there as well. Just to, you know, hold everything in place and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you guys what I look like. Or what they look like right now. This one right here with my bra does not hurt me at all. So... So yeah, one thing I do, oh my god that was, my thought was bleeding. one thing, oh god. one thing that I do notice is that like when I drink water, um, I get like this, I don't like pressure sensation here and then my chest right here, but I think that's because of like, you know, they inflate you with air, so I still got some air, you know, trapped in there and whatnot, but oh my god, look. I can't remember, and excuse my legs, they're a little bit hairy, I'm sorry. I can't remember the last time that my legs were literally this skinny. Like, what the hell? Like, it's been a long time, but I do highly believe that. It's got a lot to do with no more water retention, since I haven't been eating, you know, eating anything with sodium or sodium at all. Uh, like, all of my water retention has, like, you know, dumped out. And those are the kind of sips I'm supposed to be sipping throughout the day. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I get to start my uh, protein shakes. So I'm excited about that. Hello loves, welcome to post up day three. Today I'm officially on protein, back to protein shakes. So now I can have two protein shakes a day. So I'll be day, for days three, four, and five. And then on day six, I can do full liquids. <coughs> Which is basically the same thing, I guess. Well, I took a shower last night and I removed the little dressings that the surgeon doctor told me to remove. Um, and all I have right now are the sterile strips that are like holding my incisions together. And everything is looking really good. Um, it's healing pretty well. And those little strips are supposed to like fall off on their own. So I'm not even supposed to take them off. 
it wasn't as painful as I thought it was gonna be though because like like I said I have peach fuzz hairs on my stomach and I was like it's gonna hurt so much but it didn't it didn't but yeah that's just a little update I'll show you guys later on what my incisions look like without the dressing so you guys can see in case you're interested okay I'm gonna show you guys what my incisions look like this is the one where they pulled my stomach out through here's another one I've got another one up here one right here and then that one seems to be healing pretty good no pain I mean I still feel a little bit of <clears throat> you know pain with this one but not as bad as it was like day one but it's healing I'm healing y'all and yes I'm still wearing this dress because it's not dirty and it's like the most comfortable thing I can like walk around in and feel normal at the same time so update on last night's sleep <clears throat> I feel like my voice is still not like fully heal here because of the tube but um at least I can talk right but okay so sleep last night was a little better. Um, I'm a side sleeper. I think I already mentioned it. So it's like really hard for me to like sleep facing up. So that's what's been really hard. Um, I wake up. I woke up during the night, but not as often as I did yesterday. Uh, so I ordered a recliner. What was it yesterday? And I was supposed to get it today, but I'm not going to get it delivered until tomorrow. So I can't wait to get it in soon because <clears throat> I think I'll have a better sleep in the recliner chair at the moment being while I'm like healing from my incision because uh, it's I can't sleep on my sides and I need to sleep on my sides and it's just so hard to be in bed sometimes even though it's getting a little better like I'm not getting a whole lot of sleep did I tell you guys I actually got rid of my air fryer because I was cooking something in it and then I started like smoking not normally so I threw it out and then I also threw out the Keurig because first of all that thing collects mold I look super pale huh that thing has been collecting some crazy mold so and plus I haven't used it in a really long time so I threw it out so now we don't have any Keurig I've also been practicing my breathing with this thing that they, um, this breathing exercise thing that they gave me to bring home. Um, and Valerie has been making sure that I've been doing my little breathing exercises, which I love. Since we were over there, she's like, did you do your breathing? And I'm like, cause she's she like, obviously she was there with me the entire night. Uh, we were there well the entire time. And she, she was there when the nurses would come and, you know, give me information. And she would, it was just so cute. She would just like follow up with like, you know, what they wanted me to do. She, she'd be like, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Did you do it already? And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know? So I'm doing my little breathing exercises. I'm about to get started on this chicken broth. I'm supposed to get in 60 grams of protein and 64 ounces of clear liquids. So this is my clear liquid. Some delicious chicken broth. I ordered some groceries for my upcoming diet, which is basically uh, like purees and also like clear liquids for right now. I am gonna be going back to the shop starting Saturday. So I'm gonna need something very convenient take this one out like this to like just put inside the microwave pop it out and then just like sip on it during my clients um but yeah let me take everything out of the bags and i'll show you right now and by the way these are not real i wish they were but this is just props money that i'm gonna use on like a set of nails um just to like cut up the pieces and put them inside of like a set of nails so that's what these are for, but they're not real. I wish they were. Okay, so like I showed you, the, these are gonna be considered my clear liquids. Now, moving on, when I move on to puree foods, I got some creamy tomato, but I already know that this is gonna be way too much for me. So I'll probably like split this up like for the whole day. 
Um, not just like one sitting. So, and anyways, I'm supposed to sip on these like very slowly. Uh, another puree food would be this classic tomato. I got creamy tomato. I got all types of... Uh, the only thing that I think I can't do is this one just yet. Probably after I graduate from puree foods into softer foods, which is also going to be after my um, puree food transition. Yeah, basically I got like a lot of the same stuff. Creamy tomato, classic tomato, chicken and stars. And then I got the creamy cream of chicken. So, and then some more clear liquids, chicken broth. So yeah. Okay, me and Valerie just got back from going on a walk around the block. The doctor really wants me to be up and walking so I don't, or to prevent any blood clots from happening. So, we doing this, we doing the damn thing. So, I'll take another walk around the block later on in the evening, then that way, you know, my blood is pumping and I'm not just sitting or standing here. And yeah, so far that walk felt amazing, no pain. It was good. Just taking it nice and slow, nice and easy. Okay, so I'm back with another update. We are still on post-op day three. Um, <clears throat> so this morning I had my first BM since Saturday or Sunday, I believe. And I feel great. I've been experiencing a lot of like burping. And I'm not sure if that's because I started drinking protein shakes now. Um, but... What I, I kind of like figured out what the like pressure like in between my chest is and it's like every time like it starts feeling like pressure I kind of like do this and like so everything's like nice and straight and a burp comes out and then I feel a lot more relief so I am pretty sure it's just trapped air from you know surgery or like changes to my body and I've also been passing gas which I'm sorry it's TMI but it's something really important that you have to it could be experiencing through the process of recovery. So I've been passing gas and I've been burping a lot and I had my first PM this morning. So <clears throat> we're on the right track. Um, yeah, like I said, later on I'll be taking another walk and tomorrow I should be having my recliner getting delivered. I already got the text message in here. Here goes another one. This time nothing came out, but like it like comes and goes sometimes. So anyways, um, I can't wait to get my recliner. I cannot wait to just like, you know, and I'm going to ask them to, I'm going to be like, if I pay you guys 50 each, can you guys just take these out to the alley and just throw them out? Hopefully they do. Cause like, I can't do this on myself, but like by myself, I can't take these like nasty ass couches out by myself. And I, I like need to, I'm thinking about, um, not renovating because you know what I mean but like changing up everything in my living room to like make it different and more like aesthetically pleasing and just something different so starting with the couches they gotta go and I have this one a little sectional not a sectional it's just like an l-shaped one it's like a it's a it's also a sleeping sofa that like comes out and it's so cute uh so I've been keeping my eyes on it and I believe I'm going to get that one. And then I want to get, obviously I got my recliner. Um, and then I would love to like put like a really big bean bag right here. And like, I just have like a few ideas, you know, but I'm totally planning to like change up this like whole thing in here. So just like different type of vibe and it just feels all cluttered and stuff. And having a sectional in a little apartment, is just not it, you know, it just it takes up so much space and I just, I, I hate it. So hopefully tomorrow the moving dudes can like help me out and like take these couches out for me because I'm over it. Hey loves, um, I changed again into like, I don't know, a t-shirt and some like PJ pants, but still on day three post-op. And I just wanted to come on here and talk about my hunger. So, it's really weird, but ever since my surgery day after, you know, post-surgery, 
uh i haven't been hungry so i don't know if they like take away that like part of your stomach that sends signals to your brain that lets you know that you're hungry or whatever I, i'm not sure how it works exactly um i have been burping a lot and if i don't burp it gets caught in here and it kind of like hurts for a little bit but then it goes away so yeah i haven't been hungry uh i will crave like you know some soup nothing chunky at the moment uh nothing like meat or anything like that it's really weird right because like right now i'd be like a whopper sounds really good and even though a whopper to me right now looks good it just doesn't like click in my head like i need to eat it i don't know if that made sense like i know it looks good but i'm not like like i i don't crave taking a bite out of it if that makes sense I've been doing really good uh, drinking my water, make sure to stay hydrated, and my protein shake, uh, and that's that's about it. But hunger-wise, it's just different. It's just so different. I got Valerie some uh, crumble cookies, and because she's, she's been so good, she's been so, so good. So I got her a little treat, and the cookies look amazing, but they don't look they look amazing, but they don't make me want to like, you know, take a chunk out of them. It's so weird because it's like not a feeling that I've ever felt before with food. So it's like really weird to describe the feeling of knowing that that piece of food looks so good, but you don't want to take a bite out of it. I don't know and it's so weird to say that because I'm a big foodie I mean we know that but I don't know it's just different it's just different I don't have the like I my my biggest fear taking off a week from being at the shop was that I was gonna have like anxiety and needed to like or be bored and needing needing to munch and whatnot but it's like the contrary. I'm like very relaxed. It's kind of like a vacation if you if if I think about it. Like it's kind of like a vacation I'm here at home and I'm not craving and I'm not trying to snack and I'm not trying to find food or anything like that. It's so different. It's like I don't even know exactly how to explain it, but I've just never felt like this before. So I don't know. It's just weird. But I just thought I'd like come in here and like update you guys how I feel about my hunger because I feel like I haven't talked about that. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I already moved the patch back here that like is for nausea. I removed it yesterday before my shower. But yeah, it's it's so different. It's just so different. Like I could totally see myself like going to a restaurant with my parents or my family in the future and honestly not even ordering anything and just like maybe taking a little bite off of something on their plate and being perfectly fine with that it's crazy i know it's crazy to even say that but it's literally how it feels um but i'm really happy right now with my water and my protein shakes don't really feel the need to i don't know take a bite out of anything so i'm pretty excited it's officially day four post-op um okay so I've been trying to like keep away from the Tylenol since it's my like, it's my painkiller. They didn't want to technically prescribe any actual painkillers to me because they just didn't want to do that, which is I'm fine with. I don't, it's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, so they prescribed me Tylenol to take every four hours for pain. So I decided yesterday to take myself off of Tylenol and see how much I can bear the pain since I had been doing pretty good except for like that like pressure in my chest when I need to like burp or something um or trapped air that I still have in my body so I was experiencing a lot of that last night when I was trying to go to sleep uh it like really sucks I like really don't know what to do about it, it like I said when I drink water it's when it usually starts to happen a little more freq frequently um, I've been doing a lot a lot of research and I'm supposed to just be walking like a lot so that all this air comes out quicker and whatnot 
Um, I even talked to my surgeon about it yesterday. He said that he said the same thing. So cool. That's why I woke up today super early, got dressed, and I literally took the longest walk down the 606 today um, because I'm very determined to heal and recover right. Uh, I don't want to be suffering from this like. Uh, bloatedness inside of my like stomach because it doesn't feel good it like sucks um so i like really it, it's really really important to me so i made sure to get up this morning and went walking because it sucks uh, i can say that that's the only thing that like actually has been hard about the surgery so far after surgery obviously you know the day of surgery is like literally the worst i think because you're in pain and still you know out of it whatever but post-op um uh, see i'm sorry if i'm burping but like this is so good i it, it's like such a relief you have no idea um the only thing that's been sucking post-op is this wind trapped inside my body from when they blow you up when they're doing surgery other than that, it's been pretty good. I'm keeping down all my liquids. I'm keeping, you know, nothing's coming up. I'm actually trying to do a little better about my liquids today. Uh, I'm actually supposed to be getting in 64 ounces of clear liquid and 60 grams of protein. And yesterday I only had maybe, I had maybe like 90. No, I only had like 50, 50 or 60 grams of protein and probably like 16 ounces of you know clear liquid or no maybe like a little more than that uh but that's it so i need to start doing a little bit better about that because i don't want to wake up you know i don't want to be feeling i don't want to be feeling lethargic or weak or anything like that um also last so so like i was saying i took myself off of tylenol yesterday or trying to and then i woke up like in the middle of the night and i just was not feeling okay i was definitely in pain so i took some tylenol and like instantly felt so much better so i'm just gonna continue to take tylenol at night um for the time being for like the next i don't know a couple of days or something um i'm gonna definitely continue to take my walk so i will definitely be taking a walk later on today um because i, I actually do feel better it's so weird um but i hope it's like actual not just in my head but like i well it's definitely not in my head because I would be feeling it but like that walk made me feel so good and even like while I was walking I felt like you know I was burping while I was walking and that's like good because like the air is coming out so that my incision does hurt a little bit the one where they took out my stomach but other than that like everything's everything's good today I should be getting my recliner uh, delivered to me and I can't wait because sleeping has sucked because i can't sleep on my sides and like my incisions still hurt and um it just sucks it's like i hate i hate it so i hope that this recliner really really helps trigger warning my iv locations are still healing this was uh the first place where they had put my iv but then it started leaking so they had to put it in this one and look at how or up my hand looks or my arm I'm not sure but like that red like spot right there um, some of my skin tore off with the tape that they put on me so yeah how fun I just finished cleaning my whole living room area my bathroom and my kitchen just so it like smells fresh when they come and drop off my couch and take these out hopefully but <clears throat> I forgot to mention, I weighed myself in this morning, and I'm down to 266 pounds, so yo girl is officially down 16 pounds in total, and I'm counting since first day uh, pre-op liquid diet, because technically, come on, that, that counts. So, officially down 16 pounds. And I think I'm going to end up the video right here, because I feel like this is this is enough footage if you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask or say leave it down in the comments down below for me this is going to be surgery day through day four post-op and i will be continuing to uh, you know 
record my progress and the process and all that the recovery and all that in case that any, for anybody who's you know having surgery or going through the same thing as me and we can relate and we can talk about it like yeah that's totally normal or no that's not you know what i mean um so yeah loves i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys in advance for all of your uh, beautiful comments and whatnot because i know you guys always come through with like the the beautiful comments of positivity and all that and like i could totally use all of that right now so yeah loves i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys again in the next one love you bye